Yes, please, it's finally here. The Gemini API is available for developers and for enthusiasts of AI. Let's get going. All right, so today we're gonna to be accessing the multimodal um, feature in Gemini through the Vertex AI platform. So if you haven't already, sign up for Google Cloud and access your Vertex AI. If you haven't seen um, how to do this, one of my other videos in the link above will be able to um, show you how to do this. So what we're gonna do next is um, ultimately so once we've come into Google Vertex, click on the multimodal on the left hand side. And this is going to be your uh, interface for, inter, uh, for testing out the new features. So as you can see, there's a number of sample prompts that you can work with. And they range from reading um, some text off an off a image, um, some image shots, um, questioning some images, um, looking at an image and trying to derive some prices from it. Um, you can even look at a picture of a dog wearing some uh, ski goggles and create a story from it and do some copying from videos and um, asking some questions of your particular videos. So all pretty fantastic. So let's just scroll up. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our own prompt and uh, test it out. So let's click on the open. All right, so this brings you to the um, interface. You can type in a prompt title if you would like, and this is your prompt um, interface that you can now start working with. So to insert media, you click on the top right there and say insert media. What we're gonna do is have a look at one of our images over here, and let's take the ML Ops um, image from one of my previous videos and see if I can decipher it. And um, so what is this image um, about? and his uh, submit <clears throat> what you can do is also set your temperature so if you want greater accuracy set it down to 0.1 um, and you can ultimately change your number of tokens if you wanted to do any more advanced options you can set them but we won't do that for now so let's just hit submit and see if it can take our image and ultimately read what's in that particular image all right, so what it's done here is it's pr made pretty short work of describing the ingestion process for creating um, um, fine-tuned models. So let's try another example. So insert media, and let's go to one of my um, banner images from one of my other videos. And this is a we want secure AI. So let's see if we can understand that. So let's type in there, describe a story of this, and base it on facts. So what we're gonna try and do now is see if it can do more than just read the picture. Let's see if it can create a story and a narrative around it. All right, so it's made a little story there. So in the not so distant future, a group of activists want to get some uh, some cool AI stuff. So pretty fantastic. I mean, it made such short work of that. That was really quick and fast. Uh, so what you can do now is if you wanted to save this particular prompt and ultimately pop it onto your website, click on save and you can go to the get code. Um, but let's test out another example. So let's just exit there. And what we can do now is scroll down to try another version here. So let's go extract text from images and go open. Now these are just pre-made samples and templates that you can try out and um, Google obviously uh, um, gives you this opportunity just to test it out so you don't have to try to figure it out. But again, there's the image over there. So what we can do, let's just click on the image. All right, so the best dreams happen when you are awake. All right, that makes sense. So let's just click on close and let's see, read the text in this image. Let's see what it comes up with. And we'll keep all the temperature, all the other stuff the same. And um, there's the response. So um, pretty accurate. Right, let's first clear the prompt and let's do it again so it doesn't uh, get confused. All right, so let's try this image over here. All right, so AI protect my information, so spot on. Um, so again, really cool. And um, what we can do now is just go back to the um, space over here and you can start having a play around with uh, getting started and choosing other options uh, so if you like this video like subscribe and i've got a lot more um, detailed content around generative ai for business and how to create endpoints uh, coming up soon so be sure to subscribe and i hope you got value out of this video thank you for watching cheers